Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio overview of the Voice Tracker widget. The Voice Tracker widget is represented in the widget bar at the bottom of the Wide Orbit screen by a green icon with a white microphone and the label Voice Tracker. If accessing the widget using the icon, the Voice Tracker will typically be empty unless you have previously selected a voice track from the Playlist widget to edit. To record and edit a voice track from the playlist, if it's not already viewable, open the playlist widget by clicking on the yellow icon in the widget bar at the bottom of the screen. Locate the voice track in the playlist and select it. The Edit Voice Track button at the bottom of the playlist widget will turn blue. Press the Edit Voice Track button and the selected voice track and its adjacent audio files will open in the Voice Tracker widget. Recording voice tracks in the Voice Tracker widget is pretty simple. The process is basically a four button push. You're going to use the green button with the white microphone on it at the top of the widget. Press the green microphone button to start the session and play the last 10 seconds of the audio file above the voice track. Press the button a second time to start recording your voice track. A third time to start the audio file below the voice track. And a fourth time to finish. Please note that if you don't press the button a second time to manually start the recording of your voice track, when the audio file above the voice track reaches its EOM, the recording will start automatically. If at any point during the process you need to start again, press the Stop button and start the session over. When you're finished, you can listen back to your session by pressing the blue Preview button. The Play Precut Completely button plays the entire audio file above the voice track from the beginning. For example, if your voice track is a traffic or weather report that plays over a music bed, Press the Play Precut Completely button so that the bed, scheduled in the position above the voice track, starts at the beginning and plays under your entire voice track. The Hotkeys button opens a slide-up window with the station's Hotkeys pages, allowing you to play Hotkey audio while recording voice tracks. The Playlist button opens a slide-up window displaying the full playlist currently being voice tracked so that you can front or back sell previous and upcoming events. SEG opens a slide-up window which lets you edit SEGs within a completed session to tweak and tighten your voice track with its adjacent audio files. Voice tracks are normally distributed to the required assigned radio station automatically. The distribution button allows you to manually override this delivery for specific purposes. When you finish your voice track, you can select the save option at the bottom right of the screen, which will complete the session, save all of your edits, and exit and clear the voice tracker widget. Of course, if you'd rather continue recording the voice tracks for the remainder of your shift, you don't have to press Save every time. You can press the Next button, which will save the current voice track session and load the next one in line from the playlist. Typically, you will next through each voice track for the air shift you're working on and only select Save when you are done recording the entire shift. If you're tracking away and you decide you didn't like how that last voice track sounded after all, use the Previous button to take you to the track before, and you can preview and even start over and re-record the voice track session. Following a successful save, a slide-down notification will appear at the top of the Voice Tracker widget, which reads Successfully Saved VT Entry. In the Playlist widget, the formerly red voice track will now be white to verify it was saved and distributed. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the Voice Tracker widget for Wide Orbit Automation for Radio. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, 
please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.